Yes. Defoe, with everything at stake today, mm -hmm. how difficult is it to walk out with a loss? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, you know, we all knew what, what was at stake today, and, uh, you know, obviously just, I mean, we just didn't execute and got outplayed today. You said earlier in the week when you've come down here, you've typically gotten off to slow starts. Mm -hmm. How do you explain another kind of slow start, sluggish first half? Yeah, I mean, just nothing to explain. I mean, they got after it early, and, um, you know, obviously we just had too many mental errors early on, including myself. You know, that, that third and third and five, um, you know, I, I jumped off sides, you know, created, you know, obviously a new set of downs for them, and, you know, obviously just, I mean, it just little things like that. You can't, you can't accumulate things like that, especially in a big game, and, um, you know, we, we got down early. Josh, how difficult of a day is it when your quarterback has 55 passing attempts? Oh, very. I didn't even know that. That's a very <laughs> difficult day. But, um, yeah, things just weren't going our way today. But just got to come back next week, work. Um, pretty, I'm pretty sure we play the Browns next week. So, uh, yeah, just got to go back to work. How frustrating is it with everything that was at stake this afternoon to walk out with the loss? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little frustrating. But at the end of the day, it's a long season. So, I mean, we could win out. You never know. And then they could totally tank so you never know um, but just got to keep going every week uh, put in the work each and every day four turnovers for the offense how difficult did Jacksonville's defense make it this afternoon for you guys oh uh, yeah they put some pressure on the quarterback um, play good zone defense and uh, yeah they just stick they just stick to what their job was so uh, hats off to them they did a really good job today great day for you though with the touchdown how significant is that in terms of building your confidence moving forward uh, I would just say like kind of just a blessing first off but also kind of like a sigh of relief just getting that first one out the way um, yeah, so it's time to play the rest of the year, try to get many more. Gardner has always uh, reiterated his confidence in you. How much is that confidence continuing to grow, that dynamic between you and Gardner as you move through the significant part of the season here, knowing that he's going to be the guy? Oh, yeah, Gardner's a great player. I respect him a lot. Um, he's a great dude. Um, I know he's going to come back next week, play really good. So I'm excited to see what he does. I'm excited to see what this team does. Shaq, with everything that was at stake this afternoon, how difficult is it to explain, explain this result? Uh, it was very difficult. Um, came down here with high expectations, and then we get on the field. You know, we didn't take care of what we needed to. So you got to go watch the tape, see what we did wrong, so I can get better. What's the level of frustration when you get off to yet kind of another slow start? That's something that DeForest said that had been a theme when you guys play down here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's frustrating, man. Um, you know, each year it's the same song. You know, what I mean, just coming out, you know, starting slow uh, is very frustrating. Um, got to figure out how to, you know, not do that. Um, so. You just got to figure it out and uh, continue to grow and hopefully be better from that. Even with the loss, how important is it to maintain perspective that it's only week six and this team has a lot that it can still accomplish and everything's still ahead? Uh, you know, it's very important because you don't, you know, you don't want guys to be cl uh, clocking out. You know, it's only week six, so we still got a lot of football to play and we still got a chance, so we got to make sure we come out and at practice make sure we get better than on Sunday. You know, we got another game coming up. Looked like you were able to carry a pretty heavy workload today, more so than what we'd seen in the past. How are you feeling after that game? Are you starting to feel more and more like 100% yourself? Uh, yeah, it felt good to get back out there. Um, you know, I'm just trying to go out there and do as best as I possibly can, you know, earn the trust from the coaches and from the players and you know, just get back out there and just be me. For Juju Brents to come up with the interception first of his career, how significant is that for him as his confidence continues to build? Uh, that was huge, especially and where the game was going. We, we just got off the field and then we needed to come out and get a stop, so he stepped up big, so it was definitely big, and hopefully he can just continue to grow from there and uh, continue to get some more interceptions.